Hi and welcome. In this episode, we'll take JSON web token that was returned from server, we save it in local storage, and we include it in every AJAX request we do. Then we need to store authenticated user details in Redux store so we can use it later. So let's get started. First, let's save it in a local storage. So let's open editor and let's go to actions login. And while we're here, let's rename it because it's not a good name. So I'm gonna rename, let's call it authactions.js. And also as we use it in our form, let's go to login form. And right here, instead of login, let's do authactions.js. Okay, so let's go back to action. And here we have this access request. So it returns promise, so we can have our then with response data. And after we get the response, we can get token from response data token. And now we're free to save it in local storage. Set item, and we call it JORT token. Like this. And that's it. Let's have a look in the browser. So here we're in a Chrome. This is the new Chrome I just updated it a day ago and it changed a little bit the name of the tabs so before it was resources now you can go to application and here you can see the local storage and localhost 3000 okay so now let's try it all again with valid credentials and here we go we have jot token saved in local storage so next we need to include this token with each ajax request as authorization header so let's go back to editor and let's create new file with this function. So in client, we'll create new folder utils and inside of it, set authorization token.js. So we're gonna import access and let's export default function set authorization token. This function will take token and if we provide some token, we want to add headers to every request and we can do it, so let's do if token and we can do it with access default headers common and we specify authorization header and it equals to the standard is to have bearer word plus token itself okay so if we have token if we provided some token we set default header authorization to equal to bearer and this token and if you pass false then we want to delete this access defaults headers common authorization. And here I have a very stupid mistake. I forgot to add function keyword here. Ah, oh, now it's good. Okay, so if we provide a token, we add authorization header to every request after that, else we delete this authorization header. So now we can use this function in two places. First, when we log in, in login action, as well as user reloads the page. So let's go back to our auth actions, into our login action. Let's import set authorization token from utils set authorization token. And right here, we're just gonna call it with token. Let's save it and let's have a look in the browser. So I'm gonna reload the page and, I go, and I'm going to network tab here. So now if I log in, you can see that I'm making a request and no header here whatsoever. But if I make another request, no matter what kind of request, you'll see that we have authorization header. Excellent. But again, if I reload the page and try to log in again, we will lose this authorization token. So now we need to add this function call to index file. So let's open client index. And right here, after we define our store, let's call a set authorization token with local storage jot token like this. And we need to import set authorization token from utils set authorization token. So now if you reload the page and try to log in, we'll have our authorization token right away. And of course, if we go to application, allow local storage and re remove it and reload the page and try to log in, add no authorization token here. So now we have token and we include it in each request. 
but we also want to store current user info in Redux store. This way we can check if user is signed in on client and have basic info about user like username, avatar, etc. So we need to dispatch another action that will set current user after login action. But first we need to decode JWT token to get this info. So let's go back to editor and let's go to our auth actions and here let's decode token. And for that we're gonna import Jot from JSON web token. And here let's console.log Jot decode token. And if we try it now, and if we go back to our server here, you can see that we have an error. We cannot resolve module net and, and module DNS. JSON web token uses some dependencies that conflict with browser because there are no such models as net or DNS in this context. So we need to cancel them out in webpack config. So let's open webpack config and here at the bottom let's add another node field and inside of this node we'll get net empty and DNS empty as well. And now if we save it and restart server, no errors. Excellent. And if we go back to browser, let's reload the page and let's log in. In console, we see the object ID and username. Excellent, it works. So token is decoded successfully. And now this object, this information, I want to store in Redux store. So for that, we need to add another piece of store to our Redux store. So let's open root reducer. And inside of it, we're gonna add auth reducer. So let's copy this thing here, auth. So let's create one in reducers, auth.js. So we create reducer and initial state is going to be, let's set it to initial state and let's define constant initial state here. And that's going to be just a simple object with is authenticated field, which is by default is false and user details, which by default is an empty object like this. So now we need to add action to set current user and set is authenticated to true. So let's start from reducer reaction to this action. So here we will have the case set current user. And when we have this kind of action, we want to return is authenticated to be equal not is empty action user. And the user itself is going to be action user. So this action will contain user object. If this object is empty, then we set is authenticated to false, otherwise it's true, and we save user object here as well. So now we need to import set current user constant from action types. And let's open types and create this constant. Okay, good. So now we need to create action itself. So let's go to auth actions and here let's define another action that we're going to call set current user and it takes user, user object and we return, that's the pure Redux function so we return type to be set current user and user equals user and of course we need to import set current user from types. And I think that I made a mistake here. Yep, I did. So let's surround it with color braces like this. Okay, so now we have set current user action that sets current user into our store. So all that we need to do right now is just dispatch this action from here. So instead of console log it, we're going to dispatch set current user and we provide decoded token, which is user object, like this. Let's have a look in the browser. So now if you go to Redux, right here, you can see that auth is empty. So now I'm gonna log in and I have an error. Oh, of course, is empty, I forgot. Let's go to auth reducer and also import is empty from Lodash is empty. And let's try it again. So I'm going to log in 
And now you can see that we have is authenticated set to true and user set to user object. Excellent. Of course, if we roll the page, we lose this data, but actually we, we need to store them. So let's fix it. For that, we go to index. And right here, we'll run this code only if local storage jot token is there. So if it's there, we want to set it as well as we want to dispatch set current user action. So we call store dispatch set current user and we have jot decode local storage jot token. So now we need to import several things. First of all, we need to import jot from JSON web token. And also we need to import set current user from actions out actions like this. So now if we go back to browser and reload the page, you can see that set current user is dispatched and we have in our state is authenticated set to true with user details. Of course, if you want to, you can extract this code in a separate function. So the index file is a little bit cleaner, but we'll stop here. So let's commit use jot on client and set current user in Redux store. So thanks for your time. And if you found this episode useful, please share it with your friends and subscribe to this YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter to get updates. Thanks for watching.